All right, here we are at the Chamber of Commerce. There's the Link's Master Course. There's there I the am. fabulous Justin Molnack. The wonderful, the only. The only, the one, the only. I have a little thing. Let's see if this, if this works. I think you're going the wrong direction. I am. I'm going to switch this camera around. Look at that. There we go. I think so. So here we are. We're going to be doing a live presentation here at the Chamber of Commerce. There's some people here in the room. It's pretty awesome. Joe Ray is watching. Hello, Joe Ray. We're doing a Facebook Live, everybody. So say hello to the world. The internet is watching. Yay! The internet is watching. And uh, this is going to be great. You're going to learn a lot today. And we're simulcasting on Facebook Live. We're doing it live, folks. I hope everyone can see there in Facebook land. Hopefully. Hopefully. I don't know. All right. Adjusting the camera. You know, can we put those shades The shades down? down? Yeah. Can, can I get a little help with that? Can somebody help with the shades? Throw, throw some shades. There we go. Money maker, capital M, and then All right. Capital M. Are we ready? Yeah, I think so. Hello, uh, hello and welcome, everybody. Hi. Hello. I'm going to be working another camera over here. Oops. Okay, you're going to be working that? Okay, so I want to welcome you all to our LinkedIn Mastery course. This is what we call our program. Um, Andres and I, I'm Justin Womack. I'm a chamber member. I'm the owner of a company called Coaching Biz Mastery. Uh, we also co-own the company LinkedIn Mastery Course, which is our online uh, program that we'll talk a little bit about today. Uh, this is the one and only Andros T. Sturgeon. Hello, everyone. Oh, look, we got healthy snacks. I was going to give everybody oh, yes. some, yeah. some yummy chocolate. It's a nice combination. <laughs> <laughs> have, a, have a carrot. Have a uh, have a peanut butter cup. And then we'll get started. Yeah. Who's <laughs> a little peanut butter cups, right? Yeah, lovely. I would like one, please. Oh, wait, wait, one more. Here. Missing one. Of course. Here, let me. Hey, oh, no, no. That's oh, I'm going to move this anyway. Um, uh, so I guess for starters, let's qualify the room a little bit. Like, how many of you are on LinkedIn already? It's like an idea of who's on LinkedIn. So the majority of you. Is it, let, me try, let me try that again. Is anyone not on LinkedIn? Because uh, it looks like most of the hands are up. So everybody has at least a LinkedIn account. How many of you are actively using your LinkedIn or prospecting or posting? Are any of you active on your LinkedIn accounts? We've got a couple hands. Okay. So we're going to show you um, a couple techniques. Uh, number one is we're going to talk about how you can optimize your profile for visibility. And we're going to show you how you can attract people so that when they do a search for your industry, for your type of uh, position, because I imagine most of you are business owners here, you're not looking for a job, you're actually looking to prospect for clients. So that's why we're at the chamber. So we're going to show you how when your clients are doing a search on LinkedIn, they can find you under your industry because LinkedIn is search engine optimized, kind of like Google. And we're going to go over what that means and how to optimize your profile for search rankings in a moment. Yeah, now I got a couple of questions. First of all, uh, so who again has a LinkedIn profile? So everybody in the room had one. Who, who hasn't updated their LinkedIn profile in like a year? <laughs> okay, well, uh, LinkedIn was uh, bought recently. Does anybody know who owns LinkedIn at this point? Uh, Microsoft. Microsoft. And so, so it's really interesting because uh, not only does Microsoft own LinkedIn, but of course they own you know things like the Microsoft Office Suite. They own Skype, right? They own uh, a whole bunch of other uh, platforms that they're going to start to slowly integrate into LinkedIn, and just before LinkedIn was bought by Microsoft, uh, do you know what LinkedIn bought? Anybody? Yeah. Linda, Linda, that's right. Linda. Linda's fantastic. I love Linda, right? You can learn anything and be a pro like that. Um, so so uh, that's already integrated into LinkedIn now. It's uh, now called LinkedIn Learning. And uh, there's some really great things that are integrated into that. But LinkedIn uh, has been revamped recently. So if you haven't been on LinkedIn, then uh, it's been uh, completely revamped. 
In fact, uh, I was just reading that uh, LinkedIn just hit their 400 million milestone now. So people are joining LinkedIn like crazy. And the thing about LinkedIn is that if, if anybody Googles your name at all, and if anybody's going to do business with you and they want to find out more about you, first thing they're going to do is they're going to Google your name, right? And the way that, uh, because LinkedIn is so search engine optimized, your name should pop up first on your LinkedIn profile. And uh, if somebody clicks on that, that should really list everything that you do. So it's vital that you really get that dialed in because in some ways your LinkedIn profile is the very first impression that anyone's going to have of you, right? So unless you are an SEO wizard and you've kind of optimized your own personal website, when somebody Googles your name, likely, again, the first thing that's gonna pop up is gonna be either LinkedIn or it's going to be something about like your Yelp reviews, because Yelp and LinkedIn, these are both sites that are really, really well searched and optimized. So these often will appear ahead of your own website and your own personal branding, maybe your Facebook page too. But LinkedIn is going to be one of the top results. And when people want to do business with you, they're going to check your LinkedIn profile first. Yeah, exactly. So uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to go over the fundamentals of having a very like killer LinkedIn profile, what you need to know, especially now that it's been revamped. So um, without further ado, we're going to go over uh, this. So uh, just some interesting facts about LinkedIn. 400 million users, um, 128 million users in the US, although these stats, even though I just made this, is out of date because they just released their new stats. So um, this is actually a bit higher. Uh, there's uh, two new users a second, right? Think about that. Um, adding a photo makes you 14 times more likely to be found. So if you don't have a current photo, um, then the chances of you being found go down. In fact, I personally will not connect with anyone who does not have a good photo. Uh, well, you, it doesn't even have to be good. Yeah, and I can slip behind him anyway. Um, and then the other, the other stat that, uh, the other stat that's not even on here though is if you have a professional photo, actually the numbers go up by another 21 times. So if you have a professional photo, like uh, even uh, any kind of pro, uh, professional photo, you're 21 times more likely than even having a photo to be uh, to be connected with by somebody on LinkedIn. So it's important that your first impression is a professional one, and so you want to have a, a nice headshot. So I would really encourage everyone to get a professional headshot done if you haven't already, because it, it is uh, critical in terms of people connecting to your profile. And if you have one of these, you know, you could just use an app like Beautify. Is anybody, is anybody familiar with Beautify? Or Snapchat filters. Yeah, it's like a facelift in a can where you just like... <laughs> so uh, Beautify is a great app. Um, some of us do not it. You know. um, so anyway, uh, definitely get a good photo on there. And then, uh, you know, part of it is who does business to business in here? Anybody? Okay, great. So, you know, the buying uh, process has changed. If you do a business to business, it takes 5.4 people to make a decision in the buying process. So it's not just like one decision maker. It goes through a team of people. Um, and 75% of uh, business to business buyers use social media during an evaluation. So again, if somebody wants to uh, do a, uh, like, just check up on you, see what you're doing, they're going to go there going to go to your LinkedIn profile. They're going to see what you're doing. And if your LinkedIn profile isn't really that filled out, then there is that, that thing that's like, oh, well, they don't really have a lot going on. Their LinkedIn profile isn't set up. So again, it's your the, the first impression that they get um, then, from you. I would just add that I mean, in, this came, in this same kind of vein, there's something called the rule of seven. And what that means is that it usually takes seven times of somebody interacting with your profile or interacting with your brand before they're comfortable enough to where they're going to make a decision. So this plays into a number of different social platforms, not just LinkedIn. But if you're on if you're on Facebook, you're running a Facebook ad, or you're doing anything like this, it generally takes seven interactions before somebody is going to have the rapport and the connection where they're going to be willing to invest in whatever entry-level product and offer that you're going to be making to them. So, so the more that you're found and the more that you're visible to people, the more likely they're going to be purchasing from you. And it also, uh, buyers want to trust their vendors. So if you know somebody who in in, uh, in their network, if you're connected to someone in their network, they're more likely to do business with you. It's like, oh, they know John Smith, who yeah. you know, does that thing that I do. Which comes to the whole concept of social proof. And, uh, and, it, and not only that, but it, there's something on LinkedIn called recommendations. And we'll talk a little bit more about that later. But you can actually get recommendations which are written testimonials from people on your LinkedIn profile. So if you have a recommendation 
from somebody that this other person trusts and respects, they are exponentially more likely to want to interact with you on a business level. So uh, one thing to keep in mind is that uh, recently with the new revamp of LinkedIn, they have a timeline. We're going to show you that in a second. But just bear in mind, LinkedIn is not Facebook, right? And some people think it's Facebook. So don't use it like Facebook. Basically, the rule of thumb is if you're not going to uh, mention certain things around the water cooler, around the office, same sort of thing. It's a professional networking group. You're not going to show up to a networking group and... Show off uh, your cat photos and your baby pics. You could. <laughs> a little bit. You, show you, might, you want to moderate a little yeah, bit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, if it, if it helps with, you know, whatever. Uh, but uh, so that's just something to bear in mind. Now, there, there are different flavors of LinkedIn. There's uh, anybody here have a, a paid account on LinkedIn? Okay, that's all right. Uh, no one. All right. Yeah. Uh, a lot of the features that are available on LinkedIn, you don't need to pay for. Um, I ended up paying for a LinkedIn account. I actually find it very valuable. It's only uh, $29 for the smallest version of it, but it also comes with LinkedIn Learning, which is aka Linda. That was normally $24.95. So uh, that's worth it to me. Plus, it comes with some other features. Yeah, per month. Uh, per, per month, month yes. Yeah. But you know, you, you have to think about that. If that $29 can net you uh, several thousand dollars worth of business by connecting to one person, that may be worth it to you. And just to touch on real quick, uh, the difference between like a paid and a free account. So one are, is what Andres was talking about there. You get access to LinkedIn Learning, which is essentially lynda.com um, given to you. You also have a extra prospecting features. We'll take your question in just a second here. So if you want to prospect based on specific industries, but you want to get down into like really narrow niches, you can go a lot, lot, uh, a lot deeper on the uh, level of personalization and specificity as far as the uh, searching different types of uh, businesses and, and processes with a paid account. So with a free account, you're a little bit limited. You're also limited on who you can send private messages to. So if you, are, if you have a free account, you can only send a private message to somebody that you are directly connected to. So that's someone in your what's called a first degree network. Um, and you cannot send a message to anyone in your second degree or third degree or further out network. So you can't communicate with a lot of people on LinkedIn until you've built out your uh, your network base. And we'll, we'll explain and that. We're going to talk a lot more about that. Yeah. So basically... Real quick, though, we had a question yeah. back there. You mentioned Linda a couple times, and yeah. I'm just not familiar with that. But you said oh. Linda.com is now LinkedIn Learning. Yes. Yeah. And they so, do the same things, but yeah, so, that, what is it? So Linda Linda.com, it was actually started here in, uh, in Ohio. Right? Uh, yeah, and then they moved to... Uh, uh, I think Santa Maria. Santa uh, Maria, yeah. Carpentry. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of people don't know this about Carpinteria, but that's where they invented carpet. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, but, uh, but, but Linda is basically a, uh, a, a platform where if you want to learn digital marketing for your career, like all of a sudden you're in your business, so like, we need someone who knows digital marketing, and you want to take on that role, then you can take like a four-hour course that will like an eight-hour or an eight-hour yeah. course, or you want to learn about uh, WordPress. They have a six-hour course on WordPress, and I, I recommend even if you're never using your website, I recommend everybody take the WordPress course because you can learn how to build a website, and that's a skill no one can take away from you. Like you have it, and you can uh, control your own website. There's uh, Facebook marketing courses. There's Excel. There's Pretty much any sort of technical skill you want to learn, there's like a four or five hour, sometimes a ten hour course on that, and then uh, you know it, right? Uh, or so at least, a, I mean, essentially, it's a database of digital curriculums where you can learn different skills, and not all of them are online skills. They have a few like offline, like basic marketing skills, uh, some basic business skills. They have courses that will teach you that. So that's what Lynda.com is. So LinkedIn bought Lynda. And then Microsoft bought LinkedIn, and now and now they've integrated it into the LinkedIn platform on their paid membership, and it's called LinkedIn Learning now. Yeah. So, so for these courses, you don't have to pay extra for them. If you well, you have to you have to have a paid membership right. with LinkedIn yeah. to get access to them, but you're not paying extra. Yeah. You, once you have access to uh, LinkedIn Learning, you get everything. So oh, okay. However, a little tidbit: if yeah. you do go to the Camarillo Library right down the road, and you get a Camarillo Library card, um, Lynda.com as an entity still exists for the time being. And you get access to Lynda.com. Again, that's from the 
get your library card and you can log on from home and use Linda for free. For free. So that's a nice deal. Yeah, so take advantage of that while they have it because uh, the Cambria Library has a business grant that they were given and they've used part of that money to pay for everybody here as long as you have a Cambria Library membership to get Linda.com for free. Yeah. So you anyway. Get WordPress here? No? Well, you can get the yeah, WordPress, WordPress course yeah. inside of Linda. Yeah. Oh. There's hundreds and hundreds of courses in there that you can learn about pretty much any new skill there is. So. And they're doing new ones like every week. So it's it's a really great resource. Yeah. Um, anyway, there's different types of LinkedIn. It depends on what kind of goal you want to have. If you want to uh, you know, accelerate your professional life, accelerate your career, find a new job, uh, you know, get yourself promoted or something, uh, find new talent as an HR person. They have a very robust uh, uh, way to find candidates. Um, and I'll get into that in a little bit. Or you can drive sales. They have something called Sales Navigator. That's a bigger sort of concept. We're not going to get into that too much, but if you're looking for leads and looking to uh, accelerate your sales process, then uh, that's a great way to do it. You can make a lot of money using LinkedIn uh, as a platform. So um, first of all, the main thing I want to do is, is break down the, the anatomy of a profile because the profile is very, very specific. Um, uh, basically, it starts off with your photo. And this is what you're seeing right here. This is the old LinkedIn layout. Um, we're going to show you the new LinkedIn layout here in just one moment. But you guys start with a photo. You have your headline. This is like who you are and what you do. Uh, you have your summary. This is uh, what kind of the, the full summary of, of what you are in general. Uh, you get 2,000 words, so you want to fill that out with as much information as possible. Your experience, this is like your work experience here. Um, your education, your volunteer uh, causes, your skills and expertise, what you know. You can add up to 50 different skills um, on this, and I recommend a lot of people don't do that. They only do like, oh, I, don't, I only have 20. Fill it out with everything, even if it's just like, you know, something that doesn't make sense at the moment uh, <laughs> on some level. And we'll explain a little more why yeah. that's important here, too. Uh, honors and awards, things that you've won. Uh, courses. Now, this is kind of interesting because uh, courses is, uh, is something where you add skills. Because Linda, uh, aka LinkedIn Learning, is integrated with LinkedIn now, when you finish a course, so you finish like the digital marketing course, it will give you the option to post the fact that you finished the course on your LinkedIn profile, right? So if you know, like, if you learned, uh, like, Facebook marketing, which is a skill that everyone should know, especially if you own your own business, and you uh, take the uh, Facebook marketing course, then you can put your little LinkedIn uh, learning badge right on there to show that you've actually passed that and you're certified. And what's, uh, well, I want to add real quick, uh, what's interesting is a lot of uh, business owners are now looking at the supplementary education beyond just having a college degree. Because some of these skills aren't even taught in the colleges, really, like Facebook advertising, Facebook, LinkedIn, social media. 